to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting the Sivorous side of their split with Stygian Obsession. This is Heralds of Affliction. I've been meaning to go over this split and honestly it got lost in the shuffle with some DVDs. I honestly apologize. I Somebody must have grabbed this and thought it was a DVD because my um, live Dippy Gus recording was with it as well and I was like what the fuck but that's only because this bad boy is in one of those double cassette shell tapes I, I don't know the holder's fucking sick this release is fucking sick you get two California death metal outfits on Herald of Affliction. Three tracks of punishing death metal from Sivorus and a little more evil blackened death metal on the Stygian Obsession side of things. And this is a release that I've had for a while. I should have went over it when I originally got it because I really fucking liked it. And it came with stickers and a bunch of other really cool stuff. Like, this was awesome cosmetically. Like, I, I love stuff like this to begin with. I just think it's neat having something outside the norm. Like, for example... Sorry. But, like, somebody snagged this by accident and thought it was a DVD uh, cover. But it's obviously not. It's the Dippy Gus live tape and I can't wait for the fucking new material because I, I love Dippy Gus and yeah I'm bummed that you know everything had to happen the way it did in 2020 because I didn't get to see Dippy Gus because the tour got cancelled but the Sivorous side of this absolutely won me over instantly. It reminded me of Grave Upheaval, and it just clicked like that. So fucking good. And I've heard the band's name before, but never really checked them out. And now I'm like, fuck, this band's awesome. Like, seriously. I really like the Stygian Obsession side of things, but, yo, this... Sivorous stuff? Oh, man. It's some fucking awesome, awesome death metal from California. And this whole, like, layout, it, it's just really fucking well done. You know, I love when bands and labels give a fuck about, like, releases like this. Like, yeah, it's a split cassette release, but, like, it's so well put together and you know I'm sure it's probably a little DIY as well because this label um, it's Pacific Ther Thernodes uh, I'm sorry I, PT20 is what I'm gonna refer to this as I don't want the pronunciation police to lock me up but awesome fucking label for doing something like this because Look at the artwork. It's great. And the cosmetics on the actual cassette as well are fucking really glorious. But this track right here, Forms of Decrepit Brilliance, it's probably my favorite on here. It opens things up with a fucking bang. Especially when this doomy part comes in. It's just dark, heavy, and I love it. And... I really wish I would have went over this earlier. There's so many fucking just f cool songs on here. Like the Stygian Obsession side of things. Forgotten Portals of Self-Destruction. Yeah, killer fucking stuff. And the logo was drawn by Lord Fowl. I've never heard the word Stygian so much as in 2020 as well like so many bands like Stygian Crown you obviously have Stygian Black Hand who have been around since before the word Stygian became very popular and you know Atramantius Stygian so 
for a while, like, I just listened to the Sivirus side of things, and just because, I, I, I don't know, I was like, uh, I'll, I'll check, uh, I'll, I'll finish it later, and then when I finally got around to the Stygian Obsession thing, I was like, yo, this is fucking awesome, it's got Titan Blood vibes, like, hell yeah, and I just instantly was like, yo, this split is dope, and I fucking kind of slept on it, honestly. I think Sivirus have an instrumental track out of the three. Um, yes, they do. Because you get Forms of Decrepit Brilliance and Decay and Decline. So, uh, Kruberra is instrumental. And the lyrics are by Lord Fowl. Cover art by N.K. Mueller. Engineered by Josh Null at Sanctuary Studios and Cody Marler at the Doom Tomb. That's a sick fucking name. And this material by Sivirus, it, it's seriously some awesome fucking death metal. Like, I'm sorry to stitch an obsession, like, this is really fucking good too, but like, the Sivirus side of things just won me over instantly, and like I said though, this, you know, Herald of Affliction, this is a, a killer split release if you're a fan of death metal, especially like New Wave California death metal. This has everything you can possibly want on it. It gets doomy, it gets fucking savage, and it's just overall crushing. And at the end of the day, you get seven tracks total of just gnarly California death metal. And each band brings their own little different flavor to the table, and the end result is a killer fucking split that I have not heard anyone else mention. And, like I said, I slept on it, but it was kind of a mistake, like I was like I said, really digging the Sivirus side of things, and something else arrived the same day I got this, and I never really got around to um, the Stitch and Obsession side of things, and when I did, I was like, this is fucking great. Like, this is a killer release, and I wanted it to be my first video of 2021, because if you've never heard of either of these bands, like, I had heard of Sivirus, but I had never, like, really, really heard, heard them until this split, and it's fucking amazing. Like, it's just one of those bands, don't sleep on them. If you could still get your hands on this bad boy, this split is fucking sick. California death metal done right very not trendy it's just fucking dark and I, I i love this stuff it's you know the type of death metal i'm really into and sivirus nailed everything i wanted to hear out of a death metal split and same with stygian obsession like their style of kind of blackened death metal is awesome and i really fucking enjoy it I like that, you know, in the California scene, bands aren't afraid to, you know, for example, Ascended Dead. They have those, like, bestial elements to their death metal assault. And I feel like, you know, Stitch and Obsession do the same thing at times. Like, like I said, it has some Titan Blood vibes, and it's like, whoa, like, this is really fucking cool. And knowing it comes from... America as well. Add two more awesome bands to the American death metal roster for 2021. Because I'm hoping we get some more material out of both of these bands, but especially Sivirus. They just totally kicked my ass on Heralds of Affliction. Awesome split release on PT. 
And I'll show you the tape cosmetics real quick. Because they're badass as well. Like, here's the Severus side of things. Fucking slimy and awesome. And then you go to the Stygian obsession side of things. And it's equally as fucking sick. Awesome stuff. You got the tracks. Everything about this tape is fucking rad. Seriously. You get the lyrics. You get everything. And it's in one of those double cassette shells. It would be, oh fuck, it would be really cool if, uh, you know, each band on here, like, had their own tape for their side of the split, but then it would be kind of, not pointless, but, you know, you'd get two in one, but I, I like having it all in one place, but it would be really badass if, like, this was two tapes as part of the split, and the program repeated itself on the B-side, so, this would be the Severus tape, and this would be the Stygian Obsession tape, and both would have, you know, the programs repeating themselves instead of having everything in one place, but I personally enjoy split releases, and this is just a killer slab of death metal. Stygian Obsession and Severus with uh, Heralds of Affliction. Awesome, awesome release. I really should have went over it earlier. I forget who sent this to me. I apologize. Because it was a couple months ago, honestly. And I, like I said, this got lost in the shuffle. But I got to listen to the Sivirus side of things. Who are very obscured. I'm not sure who's in this project besides Lord Fowl. And same goes for Stygian Obsession. Didn't really see any names I recognized, but I think it's fucking awesome. Like, this this split is, you know, the way more record labels need to approach splits by doing something different. Like, for example, I really love the Charnel Alter Carcinoid split 10-inch. Like, 10-inch releases... I want to see more of these in 2021 because they're just bad ass. Like, sometimes you don't really need a full 12 inch. Like, the 10 inch is something, it's not rare, but like, when I see a 10 inch pop up, I'm, in, I'm almost instantly intrigued because it's like, well, it's more than a 7 inch. Maybe it's not enough for a 12 inch, but, you know, it's still on vinyl and it's still gonna sound fucking great. Like, I love the Undegang Anatomia 10 inch split. It's so good. And the Carcinoid side of this, come on. Amazing. With Ashen Remnants, Gut Rot, and Charnel Altar with Blood Sanctum. Please put out a full length record if you watch this video. I actually was talking to Sea to Doom, Steve, about it. I was like, dude, I really hope they do a full length this year. He kept his mouth zippered about it, if they have anything in the works, because he said, I'm interested too. So that was very curious. But um, this split right here dialed the fuck in. Death Metal from California. Three tracks, like I said, of punishing Death Metal from Sivirus. And three more evil, blackened tomes of death on the Stygian Obsession side of Heralds of Affliction. So, I'll put links in the video description. If this still exists physically, get a copy of it. Trust me, it's fucking awesome. Because we were blasting the Sivirus side of things, but I'm going to play both in the intro and outro, so you can hear a little bit more. But Bandcamp links, as always, will be in the video description. I forget who sent this my way, but thank you so much. Really been enjoying this a lot lately. Severus and Stygian Obsession, Heralds of Affliction. Oh yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. And as always, 
you're awesome as well. Thanks for watching. And this is actually my second video of 2021. I apologize. I'm a fucking idiot sometimes. And, you know, like I was saying, this split is fire. So, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Who's? My birthday's tomorrow. Peace. Uh.